A customer takes on a group of robbers in a gunfight at a Southeast Houston gas station. Last month, a 22-year-old shopper at a Southeast Houston convenience store, not a cop, just a shopper, opened fire when four masked robbers stormed the place, sending three of the suspects to the hospital. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you telling me that we don't need to wait for cops to save us? We can save ourselves? Yeah, you know, it's like called self-empowerment, self-determination, self-responsibility. Any of that ringing any bells? Now, let's just pause for a second because government officials, especially the police, want you to think they're necessary for safety and security. They want you to want them. I want you to want me. Yeah, kind of like that. They want you to need them. But guess what? You don't. 20-something-year-old Elisha Dickin didn't need the police when he took out the Greenwood Mall shooter in Indiana from 40 yards away with his handgun. And did I mention he did it in just a couple seconds? No police required. His marksmanship was judicious, his speed was stupendous, and his heroism went almost completely unnoticed by the gun grabbers and mainstream media who would prefer that he be just another victim. Stephen Williford didn't need the police when he ran out of his house barefoot to take out the Sutherland Spring shooter with his AR-15. Wait a minute, you're telling me we got a hefty budget, police, military gear, helicopters in the air, dogs on the ground and MRAPs, and this Stephen Williford character takes care of the shooter with no shoes on? Bobby, the answer's simple. We need more money. Start writing more tickets and increase that quota, damn it. And this 22-year-old convenience store shopper in Houston didn't need the police when he took out his gun, aimed appropriately, and took out the trash. And think about that for a second. One good guy with a gun ended the terror of four bad guys with guns, and he didn't need the government's help. Hey, let us in. We're from the government. And we're just here to help. We got to emphasize here. Houston police were called to a Circle K convenience store at a Valero gas station located at 8040 South Loop East at 7.55 p.m. after the trash had been taken out. According to Assistant Chief Ernest Garcia, four suspects in masks entered the store and started robbing customers at gunpoint. That's when an armed customer... No thanks to Joe Biden. For God's sake. Pulled out his weapon and shot the suspects. After which at least three of their bullets found their prime target. And full disclosure, this is the dangerous freedom versus peaceful slavery aspect to this whole thing. One bystander was hurt, but it's not clear if he was shot by the good guy or by the bad guys. When he arrived at the hospital though, he was in stable condition. All four suspects, for some reason, decided to abruptly end their reign of terror and ran outside of the store where the fifth suspect was waiting in the getaway vehicle. And wouldn't you know it, the fifth suspect drove the other four to the nearest hospital, where they were apprehended by the cops after all the heavy lifting had been done by our convenience store superhero. The moral of the story, it's better to have a firearm and not need it than to need it and not have it. So it's probably not a good idea to write policies that will become laws that ban certain weapons and criminalize the good guys. Even if you could get on the phone and have the entire police force show up, they're not going to arrive for a couple of minutes. And that'll be a couple minutes too late. So what would you rather do? Call 357 or 911. 911, what is your emergency? My emergency is that there's a man with a gun shooting up the place and I don't have a gun to protect myself. Uh, how can I say this nicely? That's your fault, dumbass, for putting yourself in that situation. I know, but it's too late now. And the man with the gun, I think he's coming for me. I'm, I'm in a broom closet or something. I'll send you some help, sugar, but you know they ain't gonna get there in time. Hey, do you know yoga? 
Yeah, but I don't know what that has to do with anything. It means you need to take advantage of your flexibility and kiss your ass goodbye. Wait, wait, operator, operator. The choice is yours, but know this. The government is not here to help or protect you. That's DeShaney versus Winnebago County and Gonzalez versus Castle Rock. You got to start helping and protecting yourself. Because the last I checked, ain't no one coming to save you, baby. Didn't I just say nobody's coming to save you? Wait, let me check the script here. Yeah, yeah, right here. Last I checked, ain't no one coming to save you, baby. Fred, can we rewind that? Maybe he forgot it. Because the last I checked, ain't no one coming to save you, baby. Yeah, it's confirmed, Brian. You did say that. Okay, so Bonnie, I don't know what to tell you. Just be your own hero. That's just it. You don't have till the morning light. You probably don't have the next five seconds. What part of nobody's coming to help you are you not getting? If you like this video, maybe you'll like some of my others. Check out the playlist and the popular videos list. There's bound to be something on there that you haven't seen and it's all still very relevant. I wanna give a special shout out to my channel members. I really appreciate you guys being here. If you haven't done so already, become a channel member and grab a hard hitting conversation starting design from the store. You can put the design on any shirt, hoodie, mug, cell phone case, whatever you want. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, give this video a thumbs up, share it with everybody you know, and I will see you in the next video. And remember, freedom is dangerous. The only thing more dangerous is not having it.